Eight conspiracy theories that refuse to die. From toxic chemical trails to Zone 51 as a government cover for nuclear weapons production, espionage, or actual aliens. The vast majority of conspiracy theories rely on nothing as insignificant as facts and research. Instead they just shuffle everything that might vaguely indicate or relate to a particular situation. Denver International Airport is viewed askance because of its terrible morals and Lucifer, which obviously makes it the playground of the Illuminati. Some are adamant that American school shootings are just a distraction from the sinister scenarios playing out in the White House. And, of course, everyone who was rich and famous had to make some kind of pact with the devil. Not to mention that the current COVID-19 pandemic is paving the way for an evil new world order. Just as Pope Francis planned. Oh, and don't forget that COVID-19 itself is just an excuse to introduce 5G, which will eventually kill us all. 8. It was all political. On March 15, 2019, 28-year-old Brenton Tarrant entered the Al Nur Mosque in Riccarton and started shooting. Twelve minutes later, he entered the Linwood Islamic Center and the shooting continued. As a result of the incident, 51 people were killed and 49 others were injured. Tarrant decided to live stream the first shooting on Facebook. In the blink of an eye, the video became a source of food for conspiracy theorists. There were claims that the attack was a false flag operation and that the murder victims were simply participants in the crisis. This is similar to the theory of the Sandy Hook tragedy. It was also alleged that the false flag operation was allowed in order for New Zealand to change its weapons policy. Radio host Rush Limbaugh suggested that the shooter was left-wing and used the attack to tarnish the reputation of the political right. It was even claimed that a white genocide plot might have been behind Tarrant's attack. Since then, Brenton Tarrant has pleaded guilty to all charges against him. At the time of writing, he is awaiting sentencing for his crimes. 7. In the name of love. When Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 disappeared without a trace in March 2014, no one thought that the plane would still be missing six years later. Most expected that the wreckage in the black boxes would be found so that an explanation for the incident could be discovered. Instead, as of mid-2020, only a few pieces of debris have been identified as belonging to the ill-fated plane. Families of the victims are calling on authorities to reopen the investigation and restart the search. Also, in 2020, the conspiracy theories around the tragedy have multiplied, with some becoming even more ridiculous. According to one of the more elaborate theories, the pilot devised a scheme to leave his wife because he couldn't simply divorce her due to his Muslim faith. Therefore, he bought fake ID documents for himself and his mistress and planned to jump out of the plane with a parachute after depressurizing the aircraft to kill all the passengers. He then landed in a boat where his mistress waited while the plane crashed into the sea. Other die-hard theories include the plane being stashed away in a Cambodian jungle or being a statistic of the Asian Bermuda Triangle. Yet another theory says that someone in North Korea really wanted a huge plane. So MH370 was hijacked and diverted there. 6. Fake Melania. A host of conspiracy theories exist about Donald Trump and his presidency. In turn, Donald Trump seems to buy into a lot of theories about various things. The one he soundly rejects. However, is the long-standing theory of fake Melania. The fake Melania theory is based on the claim that a body double stands in for the first lady and accompanies the president to various places. It is also argued that the body double hides behind large sunglasses and wears clothing similar to Melania Trump's. Supposedly, the conspiracy was uncovered because the woman is shorter than Melania. Donald Trump slammed the theory. 
He called it deranged and said that the fake news photoshopped pictures of Melania. 5. Island of Horrors. The Plum Island Animal Disease Center was established in 1954 as a facility for research into animal pathogens. It was hoped that new ways to stave off diseases such as African swine fever and foot and mouth disease would be developed. The island also houses the only foot and mouth disease vaccine bank in the U.S. But naturally, research could not be conducted there without various conspiracies swirling about these activities. According to one theory, no research is actually done on the island. Instead, animal-human hybrids are in the process of being developed there. Researchers have been accused of being Nazi scientists out to create alien technology and genetically modified monsters. Some theorists went another way. They believe that biological warfare weapons are being manufactured on the island and that Lyme disease is one of the bioweapons that somehow escape the laboratory. The Plum Island facility has been scheduled for shutdown in 2023 and will be replaced by the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility which is currently under construction in Kansas. No doubt, more conspiracy theories will soon follow. 4. Economic Crisis Enter Barack Obama. If there is one thing that conspiracy theorists seem to love above all else, it is coming up with screwball claims involving national leaders. All loose ties that seem vaguely connectable will be linked, and an outlandish theory that paints one or more parties in a bad light will surface. The economic crisis of 2008 provided just enough ties for the Democrats to be accused of orchestrating it. Rush Limbaugh fueled the theory on his radio show in 2008 by claiming that Senator Chuck Schumer caused the IndyMac collapse to create a feeling of financial instability. The Democrats then somehow used this panic to ensure wins in Congress and the White House. The claimed purpose of winning and getting Barack Obama elected was to ensure that U.S. industries would be nationalized. Carl Rove and Bill O'Reilly extended the theory by saying that they believe journalists caused the economic crisis because they wanted to see Barack Obama elected as president. 3. Start of the Apocalypse Norwegian terrorist Anders Bering Breivik detonated a van bomb in Oslo on July 22, 2011, killing eight people. Then he set off for the island of Utøya. There, he shot and killed 69 people who were camping as part of a workers' youth league outing. Breivik was initially diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. But a second team of forensic psychiatrists refuted this and instead diagnosed him with antisocial and narcissistic personality disorder. Breivik distributed his manifesto online shortly before the attacks. In it, he described his opposition to feminism and Islam. He also called for the deportation of all Muslims from Europe. Breivik additionally claimed that the main motive behind the devastating attacks was to make his manifesto known. Despite Breivik's claim, several alternative ideas were dreamed up. Theories were thrown around that Freemasons were responsible for the attack or that Hillary Clinton set up the attacks by means of a sponsored Israeli government operation. Some felt that the entire episode was made up as Breivik could not have set off a bomb and still had time to escape to the island where he killed 69 people. However, the strangest theory says that Breivik was conquest the first of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and carried out the attack to pave the way for the other three horsemen, war, famine, and death. 2. Second Son NASA has been accused of many things, including keeping information about aliens from the public and lying about giant asteroids flying close to Earth. According to one outlandish theory, NASA doesn't exist to explore space but simply to come up with elaborate hoaxes such as the moon landings and fake pictures of planets that don't exist. In 2016, Field astronomer Paul Cox accused NASA of covering up the existence of a second sun. 
During a live show, Cox pointed to what is generally known to be Mercury in the night sky and claimed, That large round thing to the right of the sun is our second sun. While some immediately thought that Cox was being sarcastic or making a joke, many theorists jumped at the slim chance to prove that NASA was guilty of just about every accusation ever made about it. To make matters worse Cox also referred to the Planet X theory, which claims that a broken planet will eventually emerge from behind the sun, whether this is the first or second sun is unclear, crash into Earth and destroy humankind. Naturally, this sent the conspiracy sphere into overdrive again. 1. Orchestrated shark attacks. On December 1, 2010, four people were seriously injured when they were attacked by sharks in the Red Sea off Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt. On December 5, 2010, a woman was killed in the same area after a shark attacked her as she waded in shallow water near the shoreline. Some believe that the unprecedented attacks were due to inadvertent shark feeding or animal carcass dumping. In the aftermath of these incidents dozens of sharks were captured and killed. As if the whole episode wasn't horrific enough, a conspiracy theory emerged. Supposedly, a GPS tracking device had been found on one of the sharks and traced back to Israeli agents. Israel was then accused of orchestrating the shark attacks to kill the tourism industry in Egypt. Previously, Israel had been suspected of tagging birds with GPS trackers to spy on other countries. Israel's government has since denied involvement in any shark or bird tampering for spying purposes. And in addition, just when you think you've heard it all, Tragedy inevitably opens the door to a flood of conspiracy theories. The sinking of the Titanic gave rise to some of the craziest rumors still circulating today, including that the ship was sunk by a submarine. Another persistent theory is that the Titanic was replaced by its sister ship, the Olympic, which was deliberately sunk for insurance money. Then came a conspiracy that surpassed all Titanic plots. It was rumored that either the Rothschild family or J.P. Morgan had planned the disaster to get rid of those who opposed the creation of the Federal Reserve System. Those refer to Benjamin Guggenheim, Isidore Strauss, and John Jacob Astor IV. These three adversaries all died in the sinking, and the Federal Reserve System was established and operational by December 1913. Morgan was smart enough to cancel the Titanic trip at the last minute by pretending to be ill. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell to be the first to know about new videos on this channel.